Captain Richard. The hell? Hi everyone, Kevin Richards here for Total Singing here on YouTube and TotalSinging.com on the web for voice lessons, globe-centric, worldwide. Sorry, Flat Earthers. Um, <laughs> uh, again, as always, check out the link below there in the description. You get both my vocal courses just for 50 bucks um, for being a nice person and watching this video. Digital downloads, nice and quick. Um, also, please like this video, subscribe to the channel if you're not subscribed. Hit the little notification bell there. so. You're notified when they come on, but I'm pretty much going to be uploading videos every Tuesday because that's going to be Tutorial Tuesday uh, here on TotalSinging.com. So, um, <clears throat> so what we're going to talk about today is resonance. I did the last video was on resonance blending and trying to get a resonance neutral or tonal balance to your sound. Now, what can affect the tonal balance of your sound? Well, it can be. Uh, I talked about vowels the last time. What we're going to talk about today is consonants. Consonants can interfere with how you sing the vowel based on what the consonant is. You have uh, plosives like p, b, d, you know, um, b, they kind of pop, right? You have frictives, things like f, v, v, right? Uh, then you have sort of aspirates, which are like h, s, where the vocal cords don't really make the sound. Um, they're kind of made with like the, like s is through the teeth and stuff. And it's not really not really getting a closure on the vocal cords, uh, so unvoiced consonants. Uh, but you have consonants that are very glottal, like G, L, M, N, R, Y, W, right? G, L, M, N, R, R, right? W, R, W, right? And you have poppy or very light consonants like P, B, D, T, T, right? That could affect how you sing the vowel. They can either lighten or darken. They can compress or decompress the vowel. Because um, I have students that come to me and you know they'll be say, like, how come I can sing like this F in one song, but in another song that same note is difficult? What's going on there? Well, the thing is, is let's look at the words that you're singing on this note, or you know, in that general area that's affecting your ability to sing that note properly. And a lot of times, it's what's the word preceding the word you're having trouble with? and the word following it. That can affect how you sing that word in the middle, or just that word itself. Now, the, the compressed consonants can be problematic because you can lean on them too much, you can grunt them too much, and you can pull them long into the resonant space of the vowel. So the thing with all consonants is, is you want to treat them as a P, B, and a D. P, B, D, or T. Short, sweet, get to the vowel. Because the vowel is what you're singing on. You can't sing a song on consonants. We sing the songs on vowels. That's what's stretched out on the melody, right? The consonants are there in between the vowels to form the words. So they are, they are, they are the articulators of the word. Now, the human brain is really good at hearing very slight, very short, incidental consonants to determine what the word is. So we don't need to overstress the consonants to form the word, to have it be overly articulate. If you're doing Shakespeare or an opera, you know, they, they talk about the elocution of the words, and it has to be very precise when they sing them, right? Uh, because they are singing without amplification to people at a distance. The clearer the sound is at the source, the clearer the sound will be when it reaches the people in the back, because as the source travels, it dulls and becomes a little less clear. So they want it clearer at the source so that as it travels, it maintains some of that clarity as it kind of gets bounced to the back. Um, but if you're singing with microphones and a PA system, you don't have to be as articulate. You don't want to be, you know, um, a singer from Styx or Ario Speedwagon, you know, um, heard it from a friend who it, heard it from a friend who it, you know, or a welcome to the grand illusion, a little over articulate. Even Kevin Dubrow, Quiet Riot, used to do, Come on, feel the noise. Girls, rock your boys. We'll get wild, wild, wild. Now, you don't have a problem understanding what they're singing, but it can be a little mechanical sounding and a little too unnerving because people generally don't speak with that kind of clarity. Um, you might have stage-trained actors from Britain who will speak with a lot of clarity. But in singing, it's kind of more conversational, and that's what we want to get at today. So, first exercise, right? 
If we take something like G, right, which is very glottal, right? Go, 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 go. I want to use that G to launch the O. Go, 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 because it's kind of oh, 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 oh. Go, 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 go. Now G is one of those nice compressed consonants that you can't elongate because it's g. You can't go. You can't do that. Um, same with like a D, 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 you can't elongate it. This is where some of the um, uh, people who stutter, you find that they tend to stutter or get hung up on the consonant and not the vowel. You know, long, right? Because the brain wants to elongate the L. And when they sing, they don't stutter because the, the consonants are now shortened to where they're supposed to be and the vowels are kept long. So. <clears throat> just something like go, right? I can use that go to launch my vowel if I keep it short and sweet. If I overstress it, it's going to get too tired here. You can hear the vowel is already too dark. Right? And you start to choke on it. So that's your sort of benchmark. If I'm using a compressed consonant in front of a vowel and it's starting to sound too heavy or it's becoming too uh, restrained, like I'm hitting a ceiling, you're stressing that consonant too much. Same thing in L. Now an L and M and N and R, Y, W can be stretched long into the resonance space of the vowel. And again, you keep those short like a P, B, and D. So instead of long, 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 right, long, Long, right? <laughs> that L is making that, it makes the, the, the ong nice and dark, but as you go higher, that can get problematic. Long, 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 long. I'm starting to feel resistance. Long, long. It gets choky. If I keep my L short, Long, 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 long. I have more room to sing the ong. Long, which is what I want. Long, long, long. I see that, right? But the L keeps a nice sense of tonal balance there. It makes it um, dark on the bottom. But if I overstress the L, it makes it too dark and too restrained. And I, can't, I don't get that nice switch from the anterior muscular to the posterior muscular. I don't get that nice crossover mixed, as people like to say. Um, I'm getting too much of this guy in the front it's being too dominant all the way up because the L is stressing these musculatures in the front. So keep everything short and sweet. Uh, same with like, you know, if I do like money. Money! Money! I say something like money, right? Money! Money! I can't do money! Money! I'm too stressed already. By the time I get to the honey, my M is too long. Money! 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 I'm, I'm wasting energy by going mmm. I wouldn't say it that way. I wouldn't go money! I would go money! short and sweet sing it that way now with things like aspirates like p b d z right uh p d th s f f r r get over them incidentals to like sorry it's like say right say 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 and this is where it goes back to what i said the human brain is really good at hearing just incidental consonants to tell you what the word is so i don't need to overstress my Say, 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 I don't need a long S and waste all that air. I want that air for my A sound. Say, 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 Right? And it allows me to have that nice open full vowel. This is how we keep that nice tonal balance by not overstressing or understressing the consonants 
that will affect the tonal balance of the vowel. Till next time, this is Kevin. I hope this is helpful to you. Um, Till next time, this is Kevin Richards here on TotalSinging.com. TotalSinging.com on the web. TotalSinging here on YouTube. Keep rocking. Keep practicing.